I'm Sir Ronalon. Give me your money. Give me your money so that I can give it to uh, one of two or both magnificent charity causes that I'm uh, fundraising for. There is Mencap, and we'll be covering Mencap, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Uh, and there is T. Havan, a children's hospice base in Cardiff. I'm raising the money for these causes by attempting to break the world record for the fastest half marathon in a suit of medieval battle armor. Uh, it's really, 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 really hard. Uh, it's very horrible. Uh, when I first came up with this idea, it was sort of like a pub joke bet with myself uh, outside of a pub. No one was there, no one made me do this, but I kind of felt I had to do this, and I regret it every morning uh, until the race now. Uh, sometimes I think this is the stupidest thing that I've ever agreed to do. Uh, keep me awake at night. It's all I ever think about. It's an all-encompassing hobby. And it's really, 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 really hard and upsetting. And getting into the suit every time is like, like walking to your own personal, you know, booked-in torture session. It's like the opposite of a massage. Why am I still wearing these? I don't even need these. Uh, we got a, a letter, a letter, an email uh, from Guinness. It's official. Uh, they have got certain specific criteria we've got to cover. And the basic stuff is we've got to cover a distance of 21 and a bit kilometers. Uh, we've got to do it in under three and a half hours, and the suit has to weigh at least about 25 kilograms. Um, there were a couple of points when we started looking through the small print, and we were like, oh, okay, well, how, how the hell are we going to do that? So for starters, uh, Guinness requires that every bit of my uh, uh, body be covered in some kind of metallic clothing. Uh, I can't just do it uh, like a lot of uh, suits of medieval battle armor were worn, they're just covering sections of the body. So um, we were kind of hoping we wouldn't have to do that. But instead we have to buy some metal shoes. So some metal shoes have been commissioned uh, and they're on their way. They're called Sebastians um, and I'm, I'm really, really afraid that they're going to weigh shit lots and uh, unless stated otherwise in the specific guidelines running shoes are permitted with any costume yes because running in a suit of armor without running shoes is just the worst thing ever I mean running in a suit of armor is pretty horrific anyway it's a sweaty tiring monstrous ordeal where instead of being able to think about just getting to a location you've kind of got to think about every individual step uh, you've got to just talk yourself into not giving up. It's horrible and it's painful. So doing it in a pair of medieval suits, which are basically leather sacks you put your feet in, would be the worst. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really glad that they'll allow running shoes. Uh, the entire cost you must weigh a minimum of 25 kilograms or 55.11 pounds. And this is good for us because my suit without metal shoes or even full arms already weighs more than that. So the good news is, I'll be training in a heavier suit than I'll be running the marathon in. Uh, so hopefully that, that should give us an edge on the day. Um, clock stops when the claimant's upper body crosses the line marking the end of the race, so I don't even have to completely finish the race. I just need to get up to my waist over the line. Good to know at the time. Rest breaks are allowed, but the clock is continuous. This is actually something that we had to think about. Basically, if I want to stop and pee, I can't just stop and pee. I kind of have to stop and pit stop crew myself out of a suit of armor, pee, then pit stop crew myself back into a suit of armor. So there'll have to be a couple of people following me around, uh, and they'll have to be quite familiar with me. If I stop and take a break, uh, and then remove any bits of my armor, I can't progress at all in the course. Uh, so if I nip off course, you know, have the pit stop crew unarmor my groin so that I can pee in a bush or behind a car or something. Uh, then when I re-enter the course, I can't have gained any ground on the course. I need to go back to the point in the course where I left. So really, if I, if I get off the course, I'm going to have to go back to a point four or five meters before that just to make sure Guinness don't disqualify me. Um, yeah, I'm also going to have to do it pretty quickly. Uh, and unfortunately, peeing in a suit of armor is awful. It's really bad. I remember had it coming back from a run once. Uh, and I just had the worst stomach ache ever. Uh, and I ran to the toilet and suddenly realized I was in the room and there was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do. I had to come out, beg my girlfriend to come downstairs. He had to like hurriedly remove my 
my gloves and get my breastplate off and then I had to run to the toilet uh, and it was, the, it was the most unspeakable toilet visit I've ever had. Two independent witnesses run alongside the applicant for the duration of the race. Well, I do need a pit stop crew anyway, and if I can force other people to do something uncomfortable, that'd be nice. If any item of the costume is removed during the attempt, e.g. a mask, the attempt will be disqualified. Now, we were, we were thinking about this and we thought, okay, but I'm going to have a, a big heavy metal visor sticking off the front of my face uh, for most of this, and if I lift it up, that's kind of fine, but then I've still basically got a big lump of of leverage weight around here on my head bringing me forwards and that's okay for about an hour but then it really starts to hurt your neck and things start exploding internally but at the same time I really want to do the race with the visor because it looks badass and a lot of a lot of the reason that we're doing this is because it's gonna look badass we hope uh, or, or just a little bit mad we're going to see if maybe we can get the visor chained on so that I can take it off and then it kind of like dangles down here, but then if we can do that, you know, where do you stop? Does that mean if I take a break, we can stop moving on the course, I can take all of the armor off, put it in a wheelbarrow, and then just like keep pushing it around the course? Because technically, according to this, we think that might be okay. It's a bit of a lawyer's solution, but it could it could save us half an hour. So we'll, we'll, we'll confer with Guinness, hopefully they'll let us just wheelbarrow the thing around the course of me naked, having started across the line in the costume, and as long as I get back into it before I cross the line at the end, it should all be fine, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 